All right, good day everybody. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, continuing working on the LS Vortec motor, I'm going to talk a little bit about the P0113 intake air temperature sensor circuit high voltage. In the last video, we talked about how the intake air temperature works and how the temperature of air affects the resistance. And now we're going to talk about the high voltage and going about how to troubleshoot it. Once again, we're doing a slightly different test on this one, but the end result is still going to be the same on what we're going to have to do to try to verify what the issue is. So one of the tests that are different is that with those jumper wires, the tan and the black wire, I got a fused jumper here. We're going to see, I believe it is uh, 140 degrees Celsius or 280 some degrees Fahrenheit is what it should be. So I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed. And you can see right there in the scanner, we got a hundred, roughly about 140 degrees Celsius. And if you didn't get that on that test and you have a good known MAF sensor, you would want to do that test on a good known one to verify. Now, of course, if you didn't get that, we got to go back to the troubleshooting. But if you went to do that test and your intake air temperature was saying minus 39 and you had a code of P1635 and P1639 as well, there's something else you got to check out. Because if those codes are present with a minus 39, you're going to have either a short in the tan wire somewhere, which is your 5 volt reference wire, are an intermittent issue like we talked about before wires being rubbed um short to ground somewhere something you have to test out so with this test we just did if you did the ground but there you did not get a reading you can actually take your fuse jumper you take your fuse jumper. It's kind of hard to be able to switch cameras. Even though in the scanner, you're not going to be able to see. So a good known ground, you take your fuse jumper, hook it onto the tan wire. My radiator's aluminum. So I know my reference wire is good and everything checks out as it should. Once again, I hope you're starting to see a pattern in these tests even though they may be slightly different the troubleshooting all comes down to the exact same measures a lot of variables come into if there's other codes being present so in this case doing this you'd obviously check for your five volt reference again you want to make sure you got five volts you want to make sure your ground is good you want to check your wires all the way back to the PCM. Make sure you have continuity if you have issues. So we're gonna do this test again. Check for the five volt reference, right, five volts. If you don't have five volts, you wanna check a good known ground source. So we got five volts as well. But there's an easier way that you can check too if you don't have a meter. Okay, never mind. I lied. I thought I could pull the five volts reference off the scanner but you can't so you do have to physically do the multimeter on this one you can download these computer plug sheets off the internet and as you can see right here intake air temperature sensor is red plug number 25 and that's what you're going to have to check back to and of course you see right here coming off the computer intake air sensor ground pin number 57 and that's what you have to reference by to check continuity between the plug off the sensor and the plug off the computer make sure that you have continuity